Previously on Endangered. Although I have this feeling that this may have been the last time. She appears to have some lobster DNA. Lobster? Why does my voice sound funny? She believes she is a 98 year old man. Has she noticed uh, that. Um... Don't mention you've applied to the Space Corps. Give riddance to her too. The Space Corps destroyers of the Earth. Uh, well, I applied for a job with an archaeological team in Egypt. No, I think I found my soulmate. You should move in with me. Really? This is BNN. Good evening. This is Monday the 16th of April, 2435. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. The National Space Corps have today confirmed the greatly anticipated mission to Saturn to investigate the anomalous readings from Lelantos. The Lelantos probe landed on Saturn's moon Titan just over 18 months ago and for the last nine months has been detecting signals which the Space Corps described as unlikely to be naturally occurring. HMS Endurance, which is reaching the end of a refit at Space Dock 7, has been assigned to the mission. Captain Jane Kirkman, one of the youngest captains in the Space Corps, has been assigned to command the mission. She is a recognised expert in the outer solar system, having served on previous missions to both Saturn and Neptune. A Space Corps spokesman said that HMS Endurance will be ready to depart at the end of the month. All senior officers are now appointed, and the call-up of junior crew is now underway. In other Space Corps news, a spokesman at the National Space Corps headquarters in Greenwich has repeated the denials of claims by environmentalists that many of the trees in Greenwich Park are under threat. The rumours that a new shuttle port is to be located in the park are untrue. London City Shuttle Port will continue to be the primary access route to space docks for Wessex and Mercia. Despite these denials, The demonstrators say they intend to continue their regular protests in the park to protect the trees. Turn that rubbish off. Don't you think it's exciting? What? That yet another load of Mother Earth's vital resources are going to be consumed so a bunch of nerds can look at some grains of sand on a space rock? Come on! You know modern space vessels are environmentally friendly. It's not like we burn stuff anymore. I can't believe you work for them. You know, I've always wanted to explore the solar system. All I managed on my first assignment was a couple of trips to the moon. I'd love to be called up for this mission. Hello? Yes, this is Hargreaves. I don't believe it. Yes. Thank you. I'll be there. Goodbye. You'll be where? They want me at HQ in the morning. I'm being considered for a bridge crew role for the Saturn mission. How are we supposed to maintain a meaningful relationship if you go away for weeks on end gallivanting round the outer solar system? Look, it's just an interview. Maybe they won't choose me. I'll probably be back here tomorrow evening. You'd better be. Welcome aboard, Mr Hargreaves.
I joined the Space Corps, I was full of the enthusiasm of youth. Don't get me wrong, I still gaze in awe when I'm in orbit around another world. But six weeks to Saturn, and we're only one week in. I'm going to get so bored. This ship does have an impressive selection of recreational facilities. The gym, football, tennis, basketball, squash. Then there's the dance hall, theatre, cinema... The virtual reality suite? Mr. Hargreaves, for example, partakes of every facility with gusto. Some facilities more than others. I know. You can't keep him out of the orgy room. I'm sometimes surprised he has enough energy to fulfil his duties. Sometimes he doesn't. He's been reprimanded for being late for duty more than once. I really must have a word with him. What recreational facilities do you prefer? When I'm on a journey like this, I long for a walk in the countryside. My feet on the grass, birds singing in the trees, a gentle summer's breeze on my face. The virtual reality suite can emulate that for you. It's not the same. I don't argue it's good. But even inside the best simulations, it's still obvious that's what it is. Just a simulation. Well, you need to find something to amuse yourself. We still have over a month before we commence our approach to Saturn. Darts? Done it. Chess? Done it. Lacrosse? Done it. Croquet? Done it. Tennis? Done it. Badminton? Done it. Basketball? Done it. Squash? Done it. Bowls? Done it. Fencing? Done it. Archery? I've tried every activity available on board. I've even accompanied Mr Hargreaves a couple of times. There's nothing left to do, and we're only two weeks in. So how have you occupied yourself over the last week? I've been studying the telemetry sent by Lilantos. Hardly recreational. Oh, I disagree. It's fascinating. Lilantos has been in orbit around Titan for what? Nearly 18 months. For half that time, this anomaly didn't show up. Then suddenly it's there. Like a little homing beacon, begging us to investigate. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect is it was first observed just three days after our Titan lander mission was confirmed. I've always treated coincidences with scepticism. Space Corps announce a mission to land on Titan, and no sooner is the announcement made, we have something on the surface to investigate. Surely you are not suggesting the Lalantos team withheld information? No, that wouldn't make sense. The Titan lander mission was not a certainty. The Lalantos team would want the lander mission to go ahead. If they had known about this prior to our mission being confirmed, they would have used that information to ensure our mission did go ahead. Are you suggesting they fabricated it? A conspiracy theory, number one? No. Conspiracy theories absolutely don't make sense. Ignoring the difficulty of doing that without a whistleblower giving the game away, if our lander mission fails to confirm what they found, well... It would be a bit egg on face for them. No, it's more like this thing on Titan wants to be investigated. That suggests sentience and reasoning behind the signal. Yes, it does, doesn't it? What do you think? I think after three weeks in space, you need to reconsider your recreation programme. I've been practising my flute. I wasn't aware you played. Well, I've only been learning for a week. I am pleased you have found a recreational activity. I'm not. My quarters are nearby and the sound is absolutely awful. What can I get you today? I'll have what she's having. Takeaway, I assume?
Jim? Oh, uh, yes. Hello. I didn't know you were on this ship. Yes, I was called up just before the mission. I didn't know you were on board. Same thing happened to me. Caught up a few days before we set off. I can't believe we've been on the same ship for over a month and haven't bumped into each other before. Are you off to work now? No, I'm just finishing a shift. Oh, I'm just about to start mine. I guess that's why we haven't seen each other. I think you must be a few minutes late for your shift. Only a couple of minutes, nothing to worry about. Maybe we'll get the chance to work together sometime. Highly unlikely. Unless they suddenly and inexplicably change the shift patterns. That's a shame. It would be good to spend more time with you. Jim, that wouldn't be appropriate. You're with Celeste now. I just meant as friends. I wonder what Celeste is doing now. Here we are, at the Space Rocks Musical Festival. The band Heavy Electric Death Machine have just finished their main set, and while we're waiting for them to come back out for an encore, let's speak to some of the crowd. Uh, Hello, Uh, what do you think of the festival so far? Peace. And love, man. Peace and love. Yes. Well, moving on. And why are you here? I'm here to protest about the plans to turn this park into a shuttle port. You do realise there are no plans for such a shuttle port? The Space Corps are lying. And a government spokesperson has confirmed this park is protected in law. Only the historic buildings are permitted within the confines of the park, and all the trees are protected. The government are lying. We have to protect the trees. A government park's representative has stated that the only threat to the trees comes from all the protesters climbing them in their efforts to protect them. The only reason they're not cutting down the trees is because we are protecting them. Isn't it the case that the only trees which have been felled in this park in the last 50 years are those which were damaged by protesters in recent demonstrations? They intended to cut them down for years. But these protests have only been happening for the last six months. Why were they not cut down before your protests began? But... The shuttles cause pollution. That may have been the case in the past, but all current shuttles use Woodward effect drives. They emit all sorts of harmful stuff. Stuff? Yeah, gas and energy. You really don't know how shuttles work, do you? Uh... Global warming! I'm sorry? Global warming is a serious issue. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Although I'm not sure what it has to do with Greenwich Park. Human activity is damaging the planet. Well, that's true. But I would point out that since its formation over 400 years ago, the Thunberg Institute for Climate Change Research has led the way in providing solutions to minimise human impact on the environment. Thunberg is just a mouthpiece for a corrupt government. Well, there you have it. I'm sure these protesters mean well, but I'm not sure they've got that much of a grip on reality. And I can see Heavy Electric Death Machine have just returned to the stage. So let's... The 
first time that I saw you I know that I have loved you Your simple beauty touched my heart My chest was pierced by Cupid's dart We share the same interest We like the same things We both care for Mother Earth We both know how much it's worth Our first date was wonderful We walked under the stars above We had ourselves a moonlit stroll I didn't need any room hypnol The very first time we ever kissed You were not drunk, you were not I've received a request from Mr. Hargreaves to change his shift pattern. That's odd. He specifically asked for his current shift pattern when he came on board. Quite. And we all know why he asked for this pattern and what he gets up to. Yes, it probably explains why he is late for duty so often. I am not convinced a change of shift pattern would have the effect of improving his tardiness record. Mr. Hargreaves is lazy. But he is not stupid. He must have a reason to make this request. Agreed. And given most of the ship's facilities, bar one, are available at all times, the only reason I could think of was to change his shift pattern relative to other crew members. So who is he trying to avoid? Has he had any run-ins with his colleagues? Not that I can ascertain. Some of them are a little frustrated with him, but he seems quite happy to work with anyone. So why the request? I cross-referenced the personnel files. It transpires he went to college with Ensign Jones. Oh, let me guess. He is requesting to align with her shift patterns. Yes. OK, approve his request, but make sure you are always present whenever they are rostered to work together. But, Captain... That's an order, number one. Aye, Captain... We are approaching Titan. Enter a high orbit. Aye, Captain. Mr. Hargreaves, commence sensor sweep of the surface. I'm detecting the same signal as reported by the Leantos probe. It is emanating from approximately 10.5 degrees south, 192 degrees west. It is near the edge of a large plain, not far from a region of dunes. Interestingly, that location is not far from the location of the Huygens probe, which landed in 2005. You're not suggesting that is what's sending the signal? No, that probe had a limited battery life. It was fully depleted within hours of landing. See if you can locate this Huygens probe. If it is close enough to our anomaly, perhaps we can recover it. It might be interesting to examine a probe which has been on the surface for 430 years. The Huygens probe is only 1.3 metres in diameter, too small for us to detect from this altitude. Prepare a shuttle. Let's go and investigate this signal.
How come you're on duty now? I requested a change to my shift pattern so I would be working the same hours as you. I said you shouldn't do that. It feels like you're trying to avoid me. Why can't we just be friends like we were at college? Because in college, I didn't know what you got up to in your spare time. What's wrong with what I get up to in my spare time? Report. We are descending past 50 miles height. We are entering the band of condensate haze. Once we are through that, we should have a much better view of the surface. Captain, we have found something rather interesting. What is it? We have found Huygens' landing site. You mean you found Huygens? No, just the landing site. There are what appears to be remnants of the parachute, but the probe itself is missing. And that is not the most interesting thing we've discovered. And what is the most interesting thing you've discovered? There is a depression in the landscape, and there is some form of construction with what appears to be an entrance door. I'm guessing this door is not currently open. No, but there are symbols surrounding the door. They appear similar to Egyptian hieroglyphics. Sending you visual now. Mr Hargreaves, you are our Egyptian expert. What do you make of this? It doesn't really make any sense. What do you mean? Well, the symbols are not all Egyptian hieroglyphs. Some are. Other symbols may be in a similar style. But they just don't make any sense at all. Well, someone is trying very hard to frustrate us. It's an emoji. Pardon? Emoji. It became popular in the first half of the 21st century, using pictures as a shorthand. It fell out of use when people realised how dangerously open to misinterpretation it is. Well, can you read it? Just read what the symbols say. House. Lying down person. How safe? Time long. Are you suggesting that there is someone in there waiting for us to find them? I've no idea, Captain, but the symbols do seem to suggest that. Well, even if there is someone lying down in the safe house for a long time, we don't know how to get in there. And even if we did, how could someone survive in this temperature and atmospheric composition? The implication is there would need to be an airlock and life support systems. May I point out you have no idea how to open the door? And even if you did, would you want to venture in? What if you got trapped inside? One has to ask oneself, why was this structure built? Why was it built immediately adjacent to the site of the Huygens lander? And why did it recently start to emit a homing beacon? They wanted to attract our attention but not before we were able to investigate in person. Indeed, this structure appears to have been here for some time, but it is reasonable to assume it was built after Huygens landed. Well, I don't believe that little green men live on Titan. No, but maybe little green men have deposited something here for us. Get as close as you can and make a detailed survey of the outside of the structure. Aye, Captain. Uh, Captain? I can see 